Our journey through China begins in Chengdu, home to the colossal New Century Global Center, the world's largest building in terms of floor area. It spans a whopping 1.7 million square meters, equivalent to three pentagons or 20 Sydney opera houses. Rising 18 stories high, the New Century houses an array of attractions, from an ice rink and aquarium to a vast water park featuring a 5,000 square meter beach. Exploring it all will certainly require ample time. So, why not stay at the five-star New Century Hotel, which is equally impressive? What's truly astonishing is that it was built in just three years. The Tianyan Radio Telescope plays a vital role in China's quest to explore the cosmos. Tianyan, which translates as heaven's eye, serves as a tool for scientists to delve into various celestial phenomena, including dark matter and galaxy evolution. This colossal radio telescope boasts a diameter of 500 meters, making it the largest filled aperture telescope in the world. In simple terms, the antenna's inner surface receives radio waves across its entire expanse. Officially launched in 2020, the radio telescope has already left its mark on the scientific community. Notably, the heaven's eye has the remarkable ability to unveil galaxies that remain hidden from optical telescopes, showcasing its potential for groundbreaking discoveries. China's prowess in bridge construction is truly impressive. Half of the world's ten tallest bridges are Chinese creations. One remarkable example is the Husutong Bridge. This colossal cable-stayed bridge stretches an impressive 11,072 meters and features two levels. The upper level accommodates a six-lane highway, while the lower level hosts the train tracks. At a height of 330 meters, it stands more than three times taller than the New Century Global Center. The construction of this bridge spanned five and a half years. It not only garnered admiration from engineering experts, but also secured a place in several rankings, claiming the fourth spot in the list of the world's tallest bridges. While the United States is home to Silicon Valley, China has its own marvel, known as Solar Valley. It's hard to say which one is more impressive. In China's case, it's a pilot project for the cities of the future, and Solar Valley is a central part of it. This massive floating solar power plant ranks as the world's largest, with a capacity of 320 megawatts. According to the plan, it'll generate around 550 million kilowatt hours annually. Remarkably, solar power already makes up 11% of China's energy, and this is just the start. Chinese authorities have ambitious goals, aiming for renewable energy to contribute 20% to the country's energy mix by 2030. The Shanghai Tower stands as the tallest building in Shanghai and ranks as the world's third tallest. Its elevators reach unprecedented heights, but that's not its only remarkable feature. Some estimates suggest that building this 128-story giant cost around $4.5 billion. The construction process itself boasts impressive feats, such as pouring the tower's foundations in just 63 hours, which required the use of 450 concrete mixes. Notably, the outer structure of the tower gradually twists by 120 degrees. A delightful surprise awaits visitors between the 84th and 110th floors of the Shanghai Tower, where they'll find the world's highest hotel. And for those who make it to the tower's summit, a breathtaking view of Shanghai awaits them at a height of 632 meters.
While large-scale space travel remains a distant prospect, you can quench your curiosity by stepping inside a starship. In Zhuhai, China, there's a building that might remind you of the cruise ship from the movie The Fifth Element, and it certainly holds its own. It goes by the name Chimalong Spaceship, and it promises an out-of-this-world entertainment experience. The Chimalong Spaceship is essentially a colossal oceanarium, covering a vast surface area of 400,000 square meters and stretching 650 meters in length. Visitors can explore three floors, including one underground, and immerse themselves in the world's largest aquarium, boasting an astounding capacity of 56 million liters. But that's not all. Chimalong's spaceship also boasts the world's largest curved screen and the most capacious simulator. Did you know that China holds the title for the world's biggest electricity consumer? Due to this fact, China erects power plants on a grand scale. Let's delve into the Three Gorges Dam. It's not a tourist attraction, but the globe's largest power plant in terms of installed capacity. In 2020, it churned out a staggering 112 billion kilowatt hours of electricity, surpassing the entire electricity imports of the United States, which stood at 61.45 billion kilowatt hours for the same year. The construction of the Three Gorges Dam required a substantial investment of $30.5 billion and every cent was put to good use. Beyond its power generation capabilities, the Three Gorges Dam serves as an effective flood defense system. Additionally, it significantly enhanced local navigation conditions, leading to a tenfold increase in cargo turnover in the area. The urban district of Guiyang in China is renowned not only for its extensive logistics hubs and the presence of giants like Huawei and Microsoft, but also for its natural beauty. Amidst this setting, you'll find the Libyan Building, a remarkable project that seamlessly melds nature and technology. The standout feature of this building is a towering 108-meter-high artificial waterfall, which wastes four floors dedicated to the machinery that powers it. Its operation comes at a considerable cost, allowing the waterfall to delight residents and visitors only on special occasions. Nevertheless, the Libyan building's waterfall proudly ranks among the world's top 10 tallest artificial waterfalls. Interestingly, when the waterfall was first activated, some locals experienced a significant water leak. China has roughly 20% of the world's population, but just 7% of its freshwater resources, so it faces a challenge, especially given the arid climate in the northern regions. Efficient water resource management stands as a pivotal foundation for China's future economic growth and development. So, China has embarked on an ambitious engineering endeavor, one of the world's most monumental projects in history, the South-North Water Transfer Project. This colossal initiative involves the construction of three canals, each spanning up to 1,300 kilometers in length. These canals will annually transport around 45 billion cubic meters of fresh water to the northern regions of the country. The canals bear the names Central, Eastern, and Western. The Central Canal became operational in 2014, and the Eastern Canal has its first phase in progress. Meanwhile, the Western Canal poses an incredibly challenging task for builders, as it will traverse altitudes ranging from 3 to 5 kilometers above sea level. Let's also talk about China's wind power achievements. It's worth noting that by the end of 2020, China was responsible for generating 36% of the world's wind power. This past summer, China reached another milestone by installing the largest wind turbine globally, the MySE 16260. Each of its blades stretches 123 meters, surpassing the length of a soccer field, and it weighs 53 tons. Some estimates suggest that the MySE 16260 can supply power to approximately 36,000 homes. The choice of location is ideal as well. 
This generator stands in the Taiwan Strait, known for its strong and consistent winds. Approximately 200 days each year witness wind speeds averaging around 51 km per hour. The creators of this remarkable elevator have raised Chinese ingenuity to new heights. It goes by the name of Bai Long, which translates as Hundred Dragons Elevator. The builders indeed had to display remarkable wisdom to build this elevator on UNESCO World Heritage Site land. The outcome is the tallest outdoor elevator in the world, soaring to a height of 330 meters. Passengers are accommodated in three two-story cabins. Interestingly, the same journey on foot would demand at least three hours, but this elevator whisks visitors to the summit in just about a minute. Let's talk about another notable Chinese project, the Raffles City Complex. This complex comprises eight towers, with four of them connected by a central block called Crystal, stretching over 250 meters in length. Inside, visitors can explore a lavish observation deck, dine at restaurants, and enjoy a winter garden. The towers offer a plethora of activities, with the entire floor area of the Raffles City complex exceeding 1.1 million square meters. Remarkably, two of the eight towers soar to a height of 354 meters, offering a mix of office, residential, and retail spaces. The construction cost of Raffles City is also noteworthy, amounting to $3.8 billion. Are you a fan of opera? The Chinese hold such a deep love for it that they've created over 360 regional variations. One testament to this passion is the Guangzhou Opera House. Its architecture evokes the image of stone sculpted by the sea's waves, a fitting homage to the history of Guangzhou, which thrived through maritime and river trade routes. Inside, the theater leaves a lasting impression. Many reviews commend its acoustics as among the finest in the world. Furthermore, the stage boasts an impressive set-changing and transformation system. Additionally, the theater features multiple auditoriums, with the larger one accommodating 1,800 spectators and the smaller one accommodating 400. The construction of this grand edifice came at an estimated cost of about $200 million. This striking building was constructed in China for the 2010 Asian Games. On the screen, you can spot the Canton Tower, which stands as the second tallest in the world, soaring to a height of 604 meters. Only Japan's Tokyo Sky Tree surpasses it, but just by a mere 30 meters. Interestingly, despite its role as a television tower, this place offers more than just broadcasting. Inside, you'll discover restaurants, cinemas, exhibitions, and other points of interest. Of course, the tower also boasts several observation decks, situated at heights of 33, 116, 168, 449, and 488 meters. Notably, the tower's elevators are so fast that some tourists liken the experience to flying in an airplane. Articles discussing the HL2M tokamak often sport headlines like China Conquers the Sun, among others. This fusion reactor stands as one of the most advanced worldwide. For instance, it can sustain plasma for approximately 10 seconds, a remarkable feat compared to other similar reactors where plasma retention usually lasts less than a second. Inside the HL2M, temperatures soar to over 150 million degrees Celsius, surpassing even the solar core, which is about 10 times cooler. The HL2M tokamak has the potential to offer a substantial amount of cost-effective, environmentally friendly energy, aligning with China's economic needs. Consequently, 
Plans are underway to launch an industrial version by 2035, followed by mass construction of thermonuclear power plants scheduled to commence in 2050. At the end of last year, China had 417 million vehicles on its roads. The challenge then becomes finding parking space for all of them. The visionaries behind this futuristic vertical parking garage located in Hangzhou tried to find a solution. This remarkable structure bears a striking resemblance to a museum or theater, yet its primary function is to provide parking for cars within its towering edifices. Remarkably, this parking facility can accommodate up to 500 cars, and it relies on a robotic system for vehicle movement. The process is pretty fast, with cars being retrieved within a matter of minutes. Notably, this parking facility offers more than just parking convenience. It also doubles as a delightful space for leisurely strolls, featuring a rooftop garden. Moreover, on the ground and subway levels, you'll find recreational areas and retail outlets. China is deeply focused on air purification efforts, and these towers play a vital role in combating PM2.5 particles, which include common pollutants like soot, tire debris, and industrial exhaust droplets. Following rigorous testing, the Chinese Ministry of Environmental Protection confirmed a 55% improvement in air quality near these towers. Each tower cleanses the air at a rate of 30,000 cubic meters per hour. Their sleek design and 7-meter heights not only seamlessly integrate into urban landscapes, but also attract tourists, making them a notable landmark. Taihu stands as China's third-largest freshwater lake, sprawling across such a vast expanse that it embraces approximately 90 islands. Among them, the largest island spans several square kilometers. With such ample shoreline, it's no surprise the Chinese embarked on a captivating project. Allow us to introduce the Sheraton Huzhou Hot Spring Resort, a testament to architectural daring, earning it third place in the esteemed International Emporis Skyscraper Award competition. The Sheraton Huzhou Hot Spring Resort reaches a height of 100 meters and spans a width of 116 meters. Inside this distinctive bagel-shaped structure, you'll discover over 300 guest rooms, along with amenities like fitness facilities, four restaurants, and a wellness center, offering much more to enhance your stay.